Hey guys, uh, Webisode 67 coming at you. It's Big Boys Toys weekend, so we're at Big Boys Toys. I've got my arm candy Steph who's trying to hide from camera. And behind you is the Holden Colorado Rocks, which I need to take out to Mirawine. Jump. Hey Ed. It's over there. You can turn the camera now. Whenever you're ready. You ready? Yeah, okay, cool. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, Steph's a bit of a car girl too. Actually, because Steph got a ride in the um, Tesla when I had that, which is the fastest car, well, the fastest accelerating car we've ever reviewed, so it's all downhill from here. It's a shame that you missed out on the Camaro though, that was fun. But yeah, no, it's VIP nice. We're just going to walk around, have some beers, hang out, see people, and that's about it. Alex will get some B roll, probably. So yeah, no, I can handle this. Nice sunny day. Step on the front in a bikini, I'll be like, ah. These things are rad. I probably can't afford it, but it's rad. This is like rhubarb champagne and cherry, like currants, peach, and raspberry. Well, I'll try a bad car and please, because I like Ribena. If this tastes like Ribena, but beer, that'd be rad. It's a bit fucking dainty in there. Wow, that's really fruity. It tastes like Ribena beer, I fucking love this. So that's pretty much it for the VIP night. Mostly it's just standing around talking shit and hanging out with people, but um, we'll do a proper walk around because Steve's up this weekend. So we'll come back on Saturday and we'll go for a walk around and Steph's trying to convince me to buy a Harley and it's working. Alright team, it's the Saturday. Steve's here. What's up? Uh, and we've got Shane and Steph came back for Saturday. We're just going to have a walk around Big Boys Toys and look around the whole event and then I can show Steve what I want for Christmas. Yeah. 458 has been superseded by the 488 and the Pista. La Ferrari in the middle is lovely though. That's an Enzo. The, the it's a Dino. Yeah. Sexy shape though, right? Yeah. You guys remember last time we went car shopping with Steve, he was thinking about buying one of these. He hasn't done it yet. Yet. But you are famous in the paper now, so I feel like you need to drive something that matches your status. Mine. Right. The status of ink. So the main hall of Big Boys Toys, aside from a couple of car stands, is a lot of EV stuff. Like, so you've got electric bikes, electric car stuff, which was a lot of the same shit that was here last year. And at the time, I said, this is Big Boys Toys, not the EV show. But, here we are. So, it's a Ponsonby special. Oh, well, that's got your name all over it. Yep. You can ride from your Hearn Bay home to Ponsonby for a coffee and meet men. Okay. That's the um, Hardo stand, which is a thing that Playtech are pushing, which is an esports thing, which Hayden will be all over, and you guys will see a lot more about that via Hayden and our Twitter. But we're just going to keep walking around Big Boys Toys. Went and visited my mate QJ that owns NZ Vapor. He's doing well. And they've got a cool drift car. Steph, what are we going to do next? Lego store. Oh, Lego store. Actually, I did notice something before that um, 
a lot of the stalls in this room are the same stalls that were at Armageddon, like that stuff. It's like, I saw all this last week. This is why I get underwhelmed with events, because it's just the same shit over and over. We've seen this show at Speech Show. Yeah, it's pretty much the same horrors in the same places, eh? Still cool. This car's paintwork seems a bit chalky. You want to run your fingers down there like you did at school? Oh, no. Hey, I can sum up this event. Steve, for the car show, so that like Alex can fly a drone and get like real pretty like, drone shots. Pretty. Be nice to take it on holiday. Be nice to go on holiday. <laughs> okay, so oh, there you go. That's the one that we want. Is it? It's the stalking. Is that the three and a half? Or the four thousand dollar one? No, the one I want is twenty. Oh no, that's the fly more. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's how much we need to spend. Yeah. They're kind of um, uh, animalistic, you know, they've got like feet and arms and an eye that moves around and stuff. <laughs> you can like duel with each other. I wouldn't recommend it. Expensive sport, really. Well, the good it? thing about this is it goes down to yeah. that and then fits in the camera bag. Yeah, we should buy one then. So you yeah, could have well, sent that here. We, we need to make some money first and then we'll get one. Right. We could have sent that to the event and we could have stayed at home. <laughs> It's the same engine as my jet ski. The one that put four people in the hospital. Yeah. So my one had a supercharger and didn't have a ton of car around it. Was it swift? It was pretty swift. I actually quite like the new um, Jimmy. Should we go have a look? Yeah, where's that? Good. Well, this is what has become of the old SJ410. They certainly know how to put corners on it, don't they? Postman Pat's new delivery van. Well, if you got it in red, it's a bit postman. We're gonna check out the Jimny. This is the Jimny Sierra. I actually did my very first driving experience in one of these. Oh, hey mate, you're just to the viaduct, thanks. Oh, this is not my Uber. No, this is not your Uber. I learned to drive cars in one of these around Red Rocks when I was like 13, 14. Cool story, bro. There were dragons and shit. That's the whole story. Let's get it started, let's get out of here. Steve is so the worst wingman ever. Date him if he bought you a Harley, and, but he wasn't on it. Yeah, that makes more sense, that's all I was gonna say. Next! <laughs> that's actually a bit of you, Shane, like with your black t shirt and your black jeans. Yeah, now we can see less of your face, it's even better. Hang on, I'll get some like glory shots. Do you feel like awesome? I feel very manly on this. Yeah. But this is electric, eh? No. Oh. Yeah. Not so this much, engine's yeah. probably bigger than your Audi. You know there's no seat behind you, so like this is perfect for you. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a nice Sunday in the country. Yeah. It's quite comfy at this. I think I should get one. Yeah. But I don't want the road king, I want the road line. Which is similar. <laughs> See now, just put your arms around me. Yeah. Tighter. Oh, you got something? Oh, yeah, yeah, now we're waking up. Shane. What? It's 
Dave getting all angles and shit. Yeah, Earth Roma is real cool. And it looks like it's just a cab on uh, like a COE Unimog and then they you buy the back. So like you turn up with a Unimog and they put all the shit on the back. That's pretty rad. So we're in another part of the show now, which is another bunch of like community cars. Oh, this is cool. Hey Steve, can I come for a ride in my van? It's a very famous GTR in the New Zealand streetcar scene. It's built by my mate John and driven properly. Well, that was Big Boys Toys for another year. And it's getting more and more derivative and less and less interesting. Donuts were good. The donuts were good. They're not vegan though. Yeah. Hey, what's up guys? Um, it's now Sunday. We enjoyed Big Boys Toys. It was... Um, there just was a lot of the same stuff, so it wasn't much point in filming the same stuff that we saw last year. Um, so mostly it was just Steve actually getting to see the show for the first time, because he's never been to Big Boys Toys. Um, but what we did after that was, as soon as we left Big Boys Toys, we're all hungry, so we did what we normally do when Steve's up, which is head down to the viaduct or somewhere like that, order everything on the menu from a bar, and then tr eat it all, and then go to another bar and eat all that food. And we were a few hours and a many many alcohols in and Steve was like why don't you film this and I was like I don't know so today we're on a ferry um, so today we're going to wait I was saying we are going to Waiheke Island for the day because it was Steve's suggestion that we go and do some day drinking. Well, it's not that we do, well, it's always Steve's suggestion to go day drinking. It was also Steve's suggestion that we film it because we don't normally film it. 99% of the time when Steve comes up, we'll go and do whatever the thing is and then we will go and find a bar and graze for an entire day and just eat and drink. And we never film that because I don't think that's that interesting. But Steve said film it, so. Hey, how's it going? Filming it. I like day drinking. What's wrong with day drinking? Well, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I've become this um, mature level of drinker where um, if you start about lunchtime, you're home at nine and you feel so much better the next day. So what are you got to Yeah. There's salt and pepper going on in here, you know? It's sexy, apparently. Shut up. So we're here at Cable Bay. We're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very glasses, come on. and it's going to be a great day. No, no paparazzi, please. <laughs> but I think when the little red flag pops up, I think I'll just be like... I ordered this before veggies. I knew that you guys had turned into bitches. <laughs> <laughs> You've known that go. for fucking ages, shut up. Yeah, Shane, go. how's that meat? Yep, it's good. So Shane watched a documentary on Netflix called The Game Changers. Yeah, and basically overnight went plant-based. So he's having his bread and hummus, and I'm going to enjoy that beautiful prosciutto. My body looks like that, and my body looks like this. Meat-based, plant-based. Is that a gay joke? <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> it's a multi-purpose joke. Yeah. What's this one? Rabbit food. Rabbit food and smegma. So I'm not using the audio from this. <laughs> 
I might now. Say when? Sunday afternoon to have a chat. It's You see, we um we had some drinks and then we ate a lot of food and, and now we're um yeah, there's not much happening now. That's about it really. Mason never really sobered up from last night. He's bad. Kids, don't be like this. <laughs> I stand on there pretend to surf. Uh, lots of things apparently. It's good. It's fine. We're getting there. <laughs> okay, team. So we're back at. Uh, got off the boat. Went to the supermarket. I'm just gonna leave it in. Fuck you. <laughs> went to the supermarket. Made a barbecue. I did some cooking. Shane cooked some vegan stuff. It was terrible. It was actually really bad. Um, Charlotte's come out to visit because she's just across the bridge. So we'd say, hey, what's up? Hang out. Um, and we're, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we will do some, actually, I'm interesting thing. We're at Shane's Kitchen, which is going to be the new set of our cooking show because oh, it's it more, yes, it is, because it's more central <laughs> than my kitchen. So what people will actually come here and we can get it done. Well, we can't do porn because we're not allowed to do anything on Shane's couch. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's got weird rules, rules weird about his rule. couch. I don't I know, get that. Not even a, look, look, it's not even a, it's like, you, you wouldn't even notice the stain. I don't want the blood stains on <laughs> Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Uh, if you thought it was cool, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, hit subscribe, and we will see you next time. See more. Cuts. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm just leaving all this in there. It's not a sponsored video, I don't care.